What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought we'd go through what are the best types for raids in Pokemon Go, what types have the most use against the legendary slash mythical pool right now. We're not talking about what specific Pokemon are the best, but what types should you be building teams around if you wanna to have to build the least amount of teams and be able to cover the most amount of legendaries. Let's get into it, timestamps below as always. So I've gone ahead and made a chart here outlining all the different types in Pokemon Go and how many out of the 42 legendary slash mythical Pokemon that have been released in raids in Pokemon Go, do these types hit super effectively? Let's first take a look at each type and how much they hit. First of all, fire type seems to hit six types super effectively, and actually one type is gonna be double weak to that, and that's gonna be Genesect. Water is gonna hit eight types regular super effectively. Grass is gonna hit five types regular super effectively. Electric is gonna hit eight types regular super effectively. Ice is gonna hit 13 types super effectively, and two of those are actually gonna be double weaknesses, that being Rayquaza and Landers in both forms. Fighting is gonna hit 10 types super effectively. Poison is gonna hit three types super effectively. Ground's gonna hit 10 types super effectively. One is gonna be a double weakness. That's gonna be Heatran. Flying is gonna hit two types super effectively. One of those is a double weakness. That's gonna be Virizion. Psychic is gonna hit three types super effectively. Bug's gonna hit nine types super effectively. Not types, by the way. I've been saying types, but legendary slash mythical super effectively. Brock's gonna hit 13 legendary slash mythical super effectively. Three of those are gonna be double weaknesses. That being Ho-Oh, Moltres, and Articuno. Ghost is gonna hit 10 super effectively. Dark's gonna hit 10 as well. Dragon's gonna hit eight. Steel's gonna hit seven. And Fairy is going to hit hit 12. So as you can see, there are certain types here that are dominating the space and certain that are not dominating the space in terms of hitting the pool of legendaries with super effective damage. If you don't know in raids, you want to be doing super effective damage because that means you're going to be doing more damage to a legendary raid boss and taking them down as fast as possible. So pretty much the typings that hit the most Pokemon super effectively are going to be some of the best type because you don't have to build a team for every single type and you can hit a majority of the legendaries without having to change the team. In Pokemon Go, unfortunately, certain types have very weak Pokemon and not Pokemon strong enough to compete in raids. So I thought we'd go through what types are those and what types should you not be building teams around because the Pokemon that you normally use in raids of those types are just super weak and will never be competing against a similar type that does super effective damage. First of all, I think grass is a very weak type for raids. I don't think building a grass team is really worth it in Pokemon Go. You're only hitting five legendaries with super effective damage. And in general, grass counters are very weak compared to the meta. There isn't really one super strong grass type raid attacker other than the new introduced Zerg rude and you can only get one of those so I would avoid building a grass team. Poison is another one. Poison is one of the worst types for raids. You, you hit three different legendary super effective damage in which there's like other types that do way better against those legendaries. So avoid a poison team at all costs and the counters are super bad. Flying as well is a very bad typing for raid. There is only one Pokemon that you would use flying against and that's Virizion because it's double weak to flying. However even in that scenario I don't think it's worth powering up a full team of six Pokemon just for a one legendary raid boss. So I would avoid building a flying team. Psychic as well. Although Psychic does have super strong Pokemon like Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo, some of the strongest raid attackers in the game, when it comes to being a beginner, you're only hitting three different Pokemon with super effective damage with a Psychic type raid attacker. So unfortunately, having a full team of Mewtwo's, although it's really sick and will do super strong against these Pokemon, I don't think it's the most worth it for a new player since you're only hitting three types and you're not hitting a lot of Pokemon. Also, when it comes to Bug, you are hitting nine different types super effectively. However, Bug has very weak counters and there's usually a stronger type. So I would avoid building a bug team, not really worth it. So those are all the types I would avoid building teams around. However, that doesn't mean you have to build a team for every single other type. I wanna talk about what are the best types in raids and what you should be building. Now, this is not gonna be a simple video at all because it's kind of a debatable video, which there are a lot of types in which, you know, two types are really good for raids and you know, you're not sure which one to use. So let's go through what those different matchups are and which one you should build. First of all, we have the rock versus electric versus ice debate. And what is the best team out of those three different types. These three types hit flying type Pokemon for super effective. Ice is gonna be hitting 13 Pokemon super effective. Electric's gonna be hitting eight and Rock's gonna be hitting 13. There's a lot of flying legendary slash mythical Pokemon. So having a team of either Rock, Electric or Ice is very important, but which is the best? In my personal opinion, I believe Rock is gonna be the best. First of all, you're hitting 13 legendary slash mythical Pokemon for super effective damage. And three of those are gonna be double super effective damage. Rock actually hits the most legendary slash mythicals for double super effective effective damage out of any type in the game. Ice is in second place, in my opinion, with 13 types for super effective, but you're only hitting two legendaries for double super effective, that being Rayquaza and Landorus. Finally, we have Electric. Now, Electric only hits eight types for super effective, but not only are you hitting Flyers, but you're also hitting water type Pokemon like Kyogre for super effective. Now, the reason I think Electric is still up to debate in which you should build a team around is because Electric has some of the strongest raid Pokemon in the game, Shadow Raikou, Shadow Zapdos, Electivire, Magnezone, super strong raid attacking Pokemon. However, if I were recommending you 
you to build a team here, I would recommend building a rock team first and then maybe an ice team and then after that an electric team. However, rock is probably gonna be one of the best teams to build for raids if you're a beginner as you can hit so many different legends. Next up is the bait versus dragon and fairy. When you're going up against dragon raid bosses, there's a lot of dragon legendary slash mythicals. What should you build? A dragon team or a fairy team? Now, in my opinion, I think a fairy team is going to be better for the majority of players. However, it's not that simple. Pretty much what it comes down to is that dragon is a way stronger type for raids. It has way stronger Pokemon, Rayquaza, Salamence, Dragonite, all those Pokemon. So if you use a dragon team, you're going to be doing a lot more damage. However, the problem when you use a dragon team is you're using dragons against dragons. So you're going to be taking a lot of damage, making a dragon team kind of like a glass cannon and requiring you to use a lot of potions. Now fairies are weaker than dragons, going to be doing a lot less damage. However, the thing is fairy is going to be resisting dragon attacks. Not only that, but having a fairy team also allows you to hit dark type Pokemon as well, like Darkrai. So it has a little more versatility. So I think if you're a new player, I would choose a fairy over a dragon team as that will just be saving you revives and all that stuff. However, in the end, you will be doing a little less damage. Damage, but I think it's worth it in the long run. And later down the road, you can build a dragon team if you have the resources. Next on the debate is going to be the ghost versus the dark team. These teams are going to be used against psychics and ghost type Pokemon. Now this is going to be the exact same debate as a dragon versus a fairy team. Which one is going to be the better type to run? Now when it comes to ghost team, the thing is you're going to be hitting psychic and ghost type Pokemon for super effective. However, psychic and ghost type, when attacking a ghost type, psychic is going to be doing neutral damage and ghost is going to be doing super effective damage. So it's the exact same debate. If you're going to be using ghost against ghost, you're going to be doing damage to ghost types, but you're going to be taking a lot of damage. That's why I recommend making a dark team before a ghost team, because dark's going to be doing super effective and psychic and ghost. However, you're going to be completely resisting both of the types. I do believe ghost and dark types too have similar Pokemon in terms of damage, like a Garatina as a ghost type raid attacker is going to be doing similar damage as a dark rise or raid attacker. So it's not the end of the world here. I think dark over ghost is going to be the play. Also, I recommend definitely building a fighting type team. So far we have counters for flying type Pokemon, dragon type Pokemon, and ghost and psychic type Pokemon. However, fighting is going to be great. Steel type Pokemon, rock type Pokemon, dark type Pokemon. Fighting can hit a lot of different legendaries and also fighting is one of the strongest raid attacking types in the game, has some of the strongest Pokemon. Shadow Machamp, Shadow Hariyama, Lucario, Conkeldurr, all these super strong Pokemon to use on your fighting team. So a fighting team is definitely recommended. Last type I think you guys should build is going to be a steel type team. This is going to be one of the last teams I think you should build, but Steel type is the only type you can really use against fairy type Pokemon. There's not a lot of fairy type legendaries in the game, but there's Xerneas, there's Zacian now. You can even hit Ice type and Rock type Pokemon with Steel type. And Steel, like fighting, has some of the strongest raid attackers in the game, specifically Metagross. Metagross is going to be the king of Steel types, the only one you should be using. Make sure your Metagross has Meteor Mash. That is a legacy move. So having a team or, you know, five, six Meteor Mash Metagross is definitely going to be useful as a team. However, not as important as the other ones I recommend. Recommend. So anyone confused about what I just said, let me just break it down for you. Very simple. What are the five teams you should have as a beginner in Pokemon Go? And what are going to be the most useful teams? First of all, I think the most useful team is going to be a rock team. Make sure you have a rock team. Some strong rock type period attackers you can put on your team are going to be Shadow Tyranitar, Rhyperior with Rock Wrecker, Rampardos, Trakion, Shadow Aerodactyl, Tyranitar, Shadow Omastar. All those Pokemon are going to be a good choice. Once you build a rock team, I think a fighting team is the next one you should build. Pokemon like Shadow Machamp, Shadow Harry. Yama, Lucario, Conkeldur, Megalopony, Machamp are all good choices to run on your fighting type team. After that, I think a dark team is next up. Mega Houndoom, Mega Gyarados, Shadow Tyranitar, Shadow Weavile, Mega Absol, Darkrai, Shadow Honchkrow, Evil Ta are all good choices to put on your dark team. After that, I would build a fairy team, Shadow Gardevoir, Shadow Granbull, Togekiss, Gardevoir, Sylveon, all good fairy type raid attackers to run. After that, I would build a steel team. The only steel type raid attackers you want to look at are going to be Shadow Metagross, and regular Metagross with Meteor Mash. Finally, after that, I will build an Ice and Electric team. In terms of Ice types, you can look at Galarian Darmanitan, Shadow Mamoswine, Shadow Weavile, regular Mamoswine, Mega Obama Snow, Glaceon, and then an Electric team, Shadow Raikou, Mega Manectric, Shadow Electivire, Shadow Zapdos, Zekrom, Shadow Magnezone, Mega Ampharos, Thunderous in the Therian form, Raikou, Zapdos, a lot of good Electric type choices. I think if you have all those teams I just mentioned, you can hit pretty much any single Legendary Raid boss with super effective damage and have no problem. So I think that's what? Seven different 
different teams, but I think only five of them are really, really necessary because the electric and ice are kind of bonuses. There are certain legendary slash mysticals you can't hit with super effective if you don't have electric and ice type teams. However, I think there's only like four or five. So with that being said, that's the video. I hope that answered the question of the best types for raids. If you guys want to find out more in depth what Pokemon are going to be best for these raids, I'll leave a link below to the best Pokemon to power up for each type. What are the strongest raid attackers for each type? Check out that video. And once the new year does hit, so in 2022, I will make a updated guide on the best raid attackers. So stay tuned for that, guys, if you want to find out what are the best Pokemon for each of these types that you should be powering up and putting onto your raid parties. With that being said, guys, I'd love to hear your comments below what you think are the best types for raids because you might have a completely different opinion. You might think that electric is way better than rock as a raid attacking type. Please feel free to comment below and explain why because I would love some feedback on this video and what you guys think about it. With that being said, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. We're going to see y'all in the next one of Follow Up Tips, everyone. Peace.